Hi ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Hakan Yalçiner from Eastern Mediterranean University. Welcome to our audio slide presentation. In next five minutes, I am going to talk about time-dependent seismic performance assessment of a single degree of freedom frame subject to corrosion, which was published in the Journal of Engine Failure Analysis. This study contributes to an understanding of the relationship between the prediction of the corrosion rate of steel in concrete and the effects of corrosion on seismic performance levels of reinforced concrete structures. For doing this, three combined corrosion parameters, which were loss of the cross-section area of reinforcing bars, reduction of the concrete strength, and additional displacement due to slip as a consequence of corrosion effects were calculated as a function of the corrosion rate for five different time periods. Obtained results from corrosion analysis were then used to perform linear time history analysis for 20 ground motion records. Let's look at the introduction. In the literature, it is possible to find studies that state that corrosion affects the structural performance, but none of these studies include an article drawn framework for identifying the performance level of reinforced concrete structures subject to corrosion, especially as a function of time to define the reduction in the performance level. Moreover, the corrosion models developed to predict the corrosion rate, crack width, and bone slip relationship are generally studied separately from each other by many others. Therefore, in this study, we try to find an answer for the models which were separately studied and developed can be used in structure analysis with modifications to achieve more accurate results for the corroded reinforced concrete structures. It is believed that performance assessment and effects of corrosion must be integrated with each other, especially as a function of time. Because of the different effects of corrosion, the performance still of the structure decreases as a function of time. As shown on these figures, these effects could be a reduction in the cross-section area of reinforcing bars, reduction in the concrete strength, additional lateral displacement due to slipping and cracking of concrete cover due to the expansion of corrosion products. As shown in figure 2, in this study, a single degree of freedom system was analyzed as a function of the corrosion rate for different time periods of non-corroded 25, 50, 75, and 100 years respectively. To analyze the frame, it was assumed that the frame of the structure assessed was located very close to the seaside. And to predict the loss in the cross-sectional area of reinforcing bars and the reduction in the concrete strength as a function of time, the values of the basic variables are given in table 1. The results of the incremental dynamic analysis obtained for the frame were compared as a function of the time-dependent damage in the reduction of the performance levels. Figures here show the three incremental dynamic analysis curves of spectral acceleration versus the roof drift ratio of the frame as a function of time. As shown in these figures, the roof drift ratio increases for the same amount of spectral acceleration with increasing time. To better understand the changes in the roof drift ratio, the cumulative distribution function of the roof drift ratio must be constructed for each time period. Figure here indicates the cumulative distribution function of the roof drift ratio of each time period according to design based earthquake hazard level. The log normal cumulative distribution function indicates that there is a serious increase in the roof drift ratio with increasing time due to the time dependent effects of corrosion. If you look at the results of the multi-record incremental dynamic analysis curves of 16, 50, and 84 percentage of fragile curves, it can be seen that the performance level of the structure reduced due to time-dependent effect of corrosion. For instance, in figure C, after 50 years of construction, with a spectral acceleration of 0.75 g, 84 percentage of the earthquake records cause a roof drift ratio greater than 0.98 percentage, while 16 percentage of the earthquake records cause a roof drift ratio greater than 2 percentage. Thus, 50 years after construction, 84 percentage of the earthquake records reduced the performance level of the structure from immediate occupancy to life safety, while 16 percentage of the earthquake records reduced the performance level of the structure almost to the collapse level based on the associated roof drift ratios corresponding to the performance level. The results of this study show that assessment of the structural performance of corroded reinforced concrete structures requires a combination of different engine disciplines with time-dependent models. Finally, this study presents a methodology to predict the time-dependent performance levels of reinforced concrete structures, which plays an important role in defining the risk maps of seismic areas for structural safety decision-making. Thank you for your interest.